what has happened to the world that this is a video I'm making, that this is something I'm doing with my life. Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my kingdom of stagey isolation. It is a new year! I am still here! If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. I am still at home in isolation because the theatres, having opened, then closed, having reopened again, have then subsequently closed again. 2020 was obviously a hugely challenging year for the theatre industry, uh, which is why things like the Ratatouille musical have happened. Yes, I'm avoiding it no more. I'm finally going to talk about the Ratatouille musical. The Ratatouzical, if you will. And I will, if I have to. I will be honest, I was resistant to the idea of a Ratatouille musical. But the Ratatouille musical that started as an idea on TikTok has managed to transcend this and gain such mainstream popularity that my non-theatre friends are messaging me and saying, can you please talk about the Ratatouille musical? And I'm quite late on this hype train. I know that Amy Lovett has already made a video about it. I know that Dan Talks Theatre has already talked about it. Everyone has talked about the Ratatouille musical. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Essentially, the point at which I boarded the hype train was when they announced that it was going to be done as a concert to benefit the Actors Fund, directed by Lucy Moss of Six Fame, and with an all-star Broadway cast of amazing people who I love, at that point I had to buy a ticket for the hype train, and a ticket for the live stream performance. I'm going to be watching it for the first time here on my channel, and I'm going to be reacting candidly and letting you guys know what I think. I also bought snacks, because this is a show about food, and I know myself, it will make me snacky. Let's be honest, I'm always hungry. It's the Ratatouzical. Starring Alvin and the Chipmunks. This is haunting. Is it meant to be haunting? Has he died? Oh, that's nice. We got a montage of some of the original TikToks that made this happen. And the original TikToks that made this show contributed songs, as well as direction ideas, as well as set design, as well as choreography, as well as lighting design, as well as the playbill design. Look at these legitimate serious musicians playing the Ratatouille musical, like... Um. Bonjour, Tatis Burgess. I am indeed a rat. I may not look like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as French as this show's getting. Yes, Kevin Chamberlain. He looks so perfect. This is a tune. Nice little charming opening number. <gasps> we have rat dancers. What kind of Broadway actor are you if you don't even have plain blacks? Come on, people. Oh, we're introducing characters. It's one of those opening numbers. Very Belle, Beauty and the Beast. Hey, Mary Tester. This... What is this casting? <laughs> oh, God. Wayne Brady is committed 3,000% to being a rat. Yes, rat ensemble. Yes! Oh, cats reference. Practical rats. Grammatical rats. Allegorical rats. Metaphorical rats. How do I open a banana with my mouth? I won't pause this. Key change. A one man, three person kick line. We love to see it. This isn't even Adam Lambert trying to look like a rat. This is just what Adam Lambert looks like on a daily basis. If you are what you eat, I only want the good stuff. He makes a compelling point. I can tell before this song has started, it's one of the ones early in the show, important to the plot, and the one that I'm going to skip on the cast recording. You just know they sent Adam Lambert a rat ear hat and he was like, nah, I'm good. This needs some kind of staging. All oh, the vocals. Alive. I have to know, did he make these things himself? I really hope a props department supplies him with this and he hasn't just gone stir crazy. 2020 bad year. I talked over the best joke, that's on me. Imagine playing Lola and Kinky Boots and then doing this. That's, I'm not gonna say a fall from grace, but certainly range. That's exactly what stealing is. Cherry on top, love that. Riff, Rat Daddy, Riff. I don't remember his father being this likable in the original movie. He also didn't riff. This is a clever way of getting us through the plot, this little bit of, like, narration. <laughs> it's a reference to when she played Morales in the original cast of A Chorus Line on Broadway, and she's referencing the song Nothing. I love this. I love everything about this. I don't know who this man is. 
<laughs> it's just what I did for love. It's the entire song. Is this allowed? I have such questions. Oh, it's jazzy now. It's a remotely filmed escape sequence. I will say it's very creative the way that they've done this. With the backgrounds and with the moving frames and the swiping. Where's he falling? Come back, Titus. Oh, we're lost. Ghost Kevin Chamberlain is slightly terrifying. This is haunting. I'm gonna have nightmares about this. Kevin Chamberlain, the man of all my nightmares. This reminds me of the playable artwork for the show Wonderland. Do you remember Wonderland? That colour scheme with less rats. This needs underscoring. Can we get some underscoring on this? Someone on TikTok can make us some underscoring. Should I do? I can't make underscoring. It's a plinky plunky piano introduction. Is it an I want song? AirPods in his ears. I'm already thrilled about the key this is in. Oh, the soft reintroduction. You know he's belting that later. I love the rhythm of this, so punchy. To be fair, they won't. They'll all think your name is Ratatouille. It's like the whole Frankenstein problem. Can we do something about Ghost Kevin Chamberlain? Can someone exorcise Ghost Kevin Chamberlain? Love the placement. Ah, oh, determine what vermin can do. Ratifying. Good lyrics on the- uh, bravo to this lyricist, whoever they were. Are we gonna key change? Yes, we are! That's the same tune as Remy the Ratatouille. It's a pre-prise! I love these lyrics. This gastronome is finally home, are you kidding me? Take us home, Titus. Ridiculous! Oh, there's something to be said for being the first person to originate a song and singing it so crazily high that it makes you impossible to recast. <gasps> Andrew Bath Feldman is here. I mean, how good is soup, really? Why is everyone in this show named after pasta? How the hell would they do this on stage? He does have the face of a Pixar character. I mean that in the nicest possible way. <gasps> he's so expressive, he's so perfect for this. Oh, this is so sweet, I'm gonna cry. It's crazy how much he looks and sounds like the Disney character. This is so you and me, but mostly me, Book of Mormon. Take it up, Andrew. Yes, he did! Did I make that happen? Am I a god? Love that. Well done, Mr. Bath Feldman. Are these two both standing in front of green screens that we're not using as green screens? I have to ask. And don't duck all around it up. Well, listen, I just Was that a pun? And give it nice. It's like Tango Maureen, but with food and less lesbianism. Oh. It's a tango rap. Yes, Regina, no Regina. Titus is in the hat. He's the rat in the hat. <gasps> oh, there's four Ashley Parks. She's Mean Girls all by herself. Oh, now it's an angry tango duet with dance effects and spoons. Titus, who are you looking at? Who are you talking to? We're over here, Titus. <gasps> One. Singular soup. I was one step closer to a restaurant with my rat face on. I don't know how you'd brand that. So do my follicles. You don't hear a lot of follicles. In a big fancy restaurant. What are Wayne Brady's ears made out of? What do you want? <gasps> it's dead inside. You're my brother. I love you. <gasps> Adam Lambert's gonna sing. I can feel it. I can feel it in my follicles. Okay, yeah, this is not making me as hungry as I thought it would. Yeah, that I'd probably eat. <laughs> oh, of course Adam Lambert is getting a rap rock number. That melody again. I heard it. It's, it's, it's the Broadway cast of six as rats. Because why not at this point? Just like, sure. This is two vocalists. I never knew I needed to come together, but please belt in harmony, boys. Live. 
You love it. Yes, rat queens. It's actually even more of the, the cast of six. Lucy Moss just called them on their group chat that I know they have. Hey girls, can I ask you a strangely specific rodent based favor? We've lost a queen. Oh, she's back. Queen poses at the end. Don't think I didn't notice this. Can we have a romantic joke with Andrew Bath Feldman if he's 12? I'm no good with words. It's because you're 12. <laughs> Another dramatic revelation that we've had through narration. This is basically like a workshop teaser version of the show that could be expanded because all of the most dramatic and theatricalizable moments. Theatricalizable? I'm sticking with it. Aren't being shown! We're skipping it. Oh, hey reporters. That's Larry Owens. So many scarves. So that was a Drag Race reference, if anyone if anyone caught that. Who is the gay man who put this together? Oh, I wanted a good press conference song. A la Anastasia. Puppet master. Ventriloquist. Puppeteer. None of the above. <gasps> Mary Test is gonna do some jazz. Oh, it's like the Pink Panther, but with rats. Again, in front of a green screen that's not... Do you not want to just put that graphic behind her? It's, no. She could have just stood in a kitchen. Who pitched her casting in this? Because they deserve medals. This is very Evan Hansen of him. And it's right there, right there, right there. Excuse me. This is so Broadway. I love it. Ah! Tapping chefs, you do those shuffle steps in trainers. Don't think I haven't clocked that. Yes, Mary. Or well, someone buy her some AirPods. I love this rat choreo. Ah, it's Andre de Shields. Look at that sequin blazer. Look at his immaculate hair, even in lockdown. Come on. It's a title song. We love a title song. I love the way he says ratatouille, which is good because he says it often. <gasps> it's young Anton Ego. Look, he's kept that same scarf in a slightly different plaid. Oh, that's a lovely touch. That's a lovely way to, to structure that. Also, why is this the most ethnically diverse Disney cast in years? <laughs> it took ratatouille to make that happen. I Listen, don't question it. <gasps> finale song? It was a great night. Stop talking, Titus. I want the finale song. That is not a male vocal line. That is an alto line. He is singing an alto line. <gasps> Aww. We have pets. Oh, I love all of these. I love her ears. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love that it's including the fans and the people who made the content for it. Building. Building. Yeah, it's this song. It's the song. Look at all the little rat ears. Look at Andrew Barth Feldman giving it everything. Yes, sop line. Ah, oh. Bows music. <laughs> Is it a mega mix? Ow! I just slapped myself so hard. I can't. Yes, Wayne Brady. Oh, we see the ears. This is my favorite song so far is this mega mix. This is the energy I needed throughout the show. More of this, please. Oh, I love it. And that theme again. It's so good. Yes, JJ. What was that riff? What was that riff? I didn't like this musical. <gasps> I loved it. Yay! <laughs> oh, what even was that? I, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ratatouille the musical. I enjoyed that. I feel like there's a lot of potential there. I am going to do another video where I do a full review of that and talk about all of my thoughts and feelings about the casting, about where I think this show could go and the different directions it could now take. But as a reaction, I enjoyed that. It's really nice to see something that's just come from like the love of Broadway and these Broadway tropes. Favourite songs, 
big finale number, the I Want song that he did, and the mega mix at the end was genius. If you watched this concert version of the Rest 2 musical, let me know what your thoughts were in the comment section down below. Let me know what your thoughts have been about the whole uh, Ratatouille musical trend on TikTok, whether you think it's a great idea, let me know what you think. I'm also going to pin a comment down below for a link as to where you can go and donate to the Actors Fund fundraiser, because that is what this concert was all about, is trying to raise more money to help with the amazing and important work that the Actors Fund are doing right now. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and check out the other videos on my channel, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more stagey content, including probably more Ratatouille musical videos coming very soon because why not? I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>